The Karamoja sub-region is endowed with undulating hills and a flat landscape. However, the remote area, which straddles square miles of semi-arid land, has often grappled with a litany of problems. For a region where cattle keeping is the economic pulse, the most pressing need in Karamoja are the scarce water sources. An official from the ministry attributes the scarcity to the geographical setup of the region. The Karamoja is on a, uh, a, higher, play, a, a higher altitude and the most, most of the water runs away to areas of Teso. The area hardly has any springs or any other alternative water sources. In a long dry spell, rivers like these in Karamoja dry up, yet they are the major sources of water. It creates a dire situation of water scarcity. Often, the only way to find water in Karamoja is to drill water from underground sources using boreholes. But there are only a few rusty boreholes in the area. There is also a likelihood of finding no water even after a drill. So you need to go deep, as deep as like more than 60 meters. And, and then in, in some of the cases, like we hit a dry well. That stream water is very far away from our village, down there. And the difficulties we used to get from that stream water, when we used to take it, it actually brings for us some diseases like the area. But there is a ray of hope. A new technology has been introduced to Karamoja. The solar motorized water system has been installed in Nakapiripirit in Chesbon village, one of the areas with a big water problem. The project is funded by the Department of International Development, DFID, under the Government of Uganda and the UNICEF Country Program. The technology here is amazing. A bar hall has been installed with a submersible pump discharging 6,000 liters of water per hour to a reservoir tank of 50,000 liters capacity. The project is targeting about 2,800 people, which cannot be covered by a single borehole. What we wanted to do is to give them sufficient water supply that is beyond the capacity needed by the current community, which is less than 3,000, so that those who previously left here during the crisis could come back to farm their land. While launching the project, the Minister for Karamoja Affairs, the First Lady Janet Kataha Museveni, called upon the locals to look after the water source. Our communities tend to look at the facilities that government give to them as government things, as, uh, as if uh, they don't belong to them. Plans are underway to extend the water to several communities in the impoverished region. Irene Namialo, NTV.